Some way, somehow, Jonathan Kaminga, who was a top five prospect coming out of high school, fell all the way to number seven in last year's NBA draft and was scooped up by the Golden State Warriors. I don't think that the league fully understands just what Jonathan Kaminga is fully capable of. I'm not even sure the Golden State Warriors know what Jonathan Kaminga is fully capable of, but they know what they have. They know the potential that he shows. And boy, oh boy, did we see it the other night against the Toronto Raptors. So welcome back to the channel, guys. If you enjoy it, you like daily NBA content, I post a bunch of Warriors videos every single week. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below for more Warriors content. I was huge, like absolutely huge, on Jonathan Kaminga being drafted to my Houston Rockets this past season. I know that, you know, the Rockets had the number two pick, and, you know, I know that they wanted either Evan Mobley or Jalen Green, but there was always that thought that maybe you could package together Christian Wood, something else that's in something that's enticing we had four first round picks so maybe package some first round picks and christian wood and try and scoop up jonathan Kamingo. but man the other night against the toronto raptors is really where we saw exactly what Kamingo is capable of but here's the thing he also has a jump shot and he also has a three-point shot now so the other day against the toronto raptors you have the golden state warriors they just decided to rest all five of their starters. So you saw a completely new starting rotation out there for this Warriors squad. And you actually just saw Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins go down, I believe it was yesterday with COVID. So I imagine we are going to see more and more of Jonathan Kaminga. But what I, when the when the Warriors first got coming out, I'm thinking, you know, he's probably not going to play too much, especially once they signed Andre Iguodala. I'm thinking he, he probably isn't going to play too much. And then I remembered what the Warriors did with Jordan Poole last season. So Jordan Poole, in his rookie year out of Michigan, came to the Golden State Warriors, played about 22 minutes or so, only averaged about a little under nine points per game and shot less than 40% from the field, 33% from the field, and less than 30% from downtown. Now, if you watch Jordan Poole play in college, you knew he is capable of a lot, lot more. So what did they do the next season? Well, they threw him down in the G League for not the entire season, but at least 20 to 30 games as he only played about 51 for the Warriors last season. So he's down in the G League for about 15, 20 games, somewhere in that area. And what does he do? He completely takes over. I mean, absolutely takes over the G League, comes up into the NBA with this new sense of confidence, all this improvement, balls in your hand down in the G League, your confidence is just through the roof, and then he puts up 12 points per game, gets his free throw field goal percentage to 43%, gets his three point percentage to 35%, and just like that, the future of Jordan Poole is looking very, very promising. So what happens this season? Well, we saw it in the preseason when he was dropping 30 point games with Steph Curry even on the court. So Jordan Poole this season is averaging 18 points per game, man. 44% from the field and 34% from downtown. So in just three years, Jordan Poole has turned into a fully capable guard, a fully capable backup guard for once Clay Thompson comes back, and even a possible future piece for once the, the Golden State Warriors big three, you know, gets old and retires or what have you. So Jonathan Kaminga, you throw him down in the G League, and he comes right back up out of the G League and drops 26 points, gets you a couple of rebounds, gets you a couple of assists, shoots 9 of 15 from the field, and even crazier, 4 of 6 from downtown. I was not anticipating Jonathan Kaminga to walk in this season with a jump shot. I was not expecting that one bit because when i view jonathan kaminga and you saw it in the game against the raptors specifically there was a one there was one play where chris boucher switched on to him and he just went right at the rim right at the rim and chris boucher is a relatively solid defender he's a really solid shot blocker mainly from downtown but he he can help cover the paint so the fact jonathan kaminga goes at this very long very good defensive player very solid defensive player 
it just shows me that he has more than one part to his game because last year in the G League, that was the Jonathan Kaminga I saw. I saw the Jonathan Kaminga scoring a bunch of points in the paint, getting downhill, getting, you know, switching on to bigger men, or even not even requiring a switch and just going downhill, especially in the fast break, and either dunking it or putting up a layup. So Kaminga against a very, very good defensive Toronto Raptors basketball like very good defensive team they even had OG Ananobi return for that game Scotty Barnes don't even really need to explain that Freddie V is a above average point guard defender Pascal Siakam can defend Chris Boucher can defend even their bench can defend they just have so many different players who can defend the basketball so Kaminga goes off for 26 gets a bunch of points in the paint and then also makes four threes if Kaminga consistently makes threes, like if Jonathan Kaminga was a 35% be, 35 three-point shooter, which he might very well be this season, we'll see, you know, with the sample size, it's hard to tell because I would imagine Kaminga goes back to the G League, especially once the return of Wiseman, the return of Klay Thompson. You throw him in the G League, you bring him back up at the end of the season when maybe then he can help you a little bit, but for still for the most part, when it matters in crunch time, you're not going to be seeing much of Kaminga unless he plays, uh, unless he gets a lot of opportunities with all these, you know, NBA COVID mess and plays like he did against the Raptors and he puts up 26 points per game or he puts up 20 plus points, throws the clamps on defense. I mean, there were, there were a ton of just defensive plays where Kaminga is in the right spot at the right time. And that leads to a downhill transition bucket two on one situation where Kaminga can either dish it off to a teammate or he can throw that down. So Kaminga, really the only bad part I saw the other day against the Raptors was turnovers. Some of them had to do with him. Some of them had to do with his teammates that were out on the court. I mean, the, the, the group that was playing, it's not like they have much experience playing together. Like very few NBA teams right now even have most of their roster. I mean, who was it who said the other day, was it Austin Rivers who said he was guarding Mr. Anonymous or he didn't know who he was guarding, something like that. So it's just impressive given who he was playing with. They haven't really played together. I mean, this was like, Kaminga's a rookie, man. So this is just really impressive no matter how you want to look at it. So it's got me very excited about this Golden State Warriors team, obviously for this season as they are, but what are they, 24 and six? I mean, man, they don't even have Clay or James Wiseman back. This team is a finals threat. They might very well do it. But in the future, I mean, even outside guys like Jordan Poole and James Wiseman, Kaminga, I mean, even Moody showcased a little bit of what he's got the other night against the Raptors. But Kaminga, man, oh man, I think they have a legitimate star player here. And he's going to demonstrate that the rest of the season, the rest of his career. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, trying to hit 10,000 subs. By the end of the year, we're about, I want to say, 250 away. And what's there, like nine days left of the year. So Appreciate all you new subscribers and thank you to everyone hitting that like button and dropping a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Jonathan Kaminga and what he's going to average in his career and I'll see you guys later.